What's up guys, today we're going to show you how to put some line on your bait caster reels. It really doesn't matter the type, we just want to show you our fast and easy method to get this stuff done. We actually just put line on one of the reels here and I figured why not take the time to make a video on how we're going to do this second one. The process is going to be exactly the same, we just want to showcase it for you guys. Let's go ahead and get into it. You've got your line, you've got your bait caster, go ahead and set it up on a rod and the first thing we're going to do is start feeding that line through the eyelets of the rod that you've got your bait caster set up on. We're just going to show you the quick and easy way without using any extra tools, we're literally doing this only with a pair of scissors. Don't neglect this step right here. You have to feed the line through this little eyelet on the reel. If you don't do this, the line is not going to be displaced evenly across the spool. After you're through that eyelet, we have to go around the spool with the line. So now we've got the line around the spool. You can see there, there's no knot yet. We've just got it all around the spool one time. All I'm going to do is the most simplest of knots. I'm going to just do an over under type of deal and uh, we'll be on our way. Nothing fancy for me. This is literally all we're doing is a little crisscross knot. Okay, we've got that first knot taken care of. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing, just a simple little over-under deal, nothing fancy. Now I wanna make sure that first one's nice and tight, then I'm gonna cinch the second one down right over the top of it. Boom. Super simple, basic as can be. And now we're just gonna cut this excess off with our scissors, which is our one tool we're using for today. There you have it guys, now the line is on the spool. So you'll notice I'm just spinning it around a couple times to get the line on there tight enough just so that when we crank the reel, it will actually feed the line onto the spool. So we've got the line just around the spool a couple times, now we can actually start cranking it. You just wanna hold your line out slightly in front of the reel at this point and start reeling that slack in. You wanna just keep kind of a close grip right here. Uh, that way the line goes onto the spool nice and tight. So if you were just to let it be free as you reel it in, there could be some slack on the spool here. That's what we want to try and avoid by holding the line with just a little bit of tension out straight in front of the reel as we crank. There's many ways to do this almost more professionally, but we literally just have the line on the ground. And so as I crank, this is all that's happening. Now, trust me when I say there's other ways to do this. Uh, I can get roasted in the comments. You guys can go ahead and tell me how much better you could do this. And uh, that's fine with me because I could do it as better as well. But the thing is, we're just trying to go fast and easy for you guys. And if you want to get this done at home with just about no tools, this is the way you do it. So this spool is going to be filled up in just a second. It literally takes almost no time at all. Oh, look, we're at the uh, end of this spool and we're actually just about appropriate. So ideally you might spool up just a little bit more line than here. You don't want to go right to the edge of the spool in most cases. You'd like to leave just a little bit of room. And uh, this time we're just leaving a slight gap and that's just all you need. This is just how you're gonna do this at home with some line laying around or maybe you go pick some up from the store. Maybe you even bought it online. Some of these stores will spool the reels up for you. In that case, go ahead and just have them do it if you'd like, but if you wanna do it yourself at home, now you see how. There's just a couple key points. Feed it through the rod, that way it's easier to spool it up as you're cranking. You wanna make sure you do not miss that eyelet on the reel. That way it feathers the line across the spool evenly as you're reeling, that's a key point here. And then once you get done, all you have to do, you'll just cut your line and you go ahead and tie on your favorite bait and get to fishing. Oh! <gasps> 